Aloha, guys. I'm Lisa. Today I will talk about cleanliness. If you ever participated in a biology course, you definitely heard him in the part of how to classify animals, plants, and other living beings. I know there are a lot of English videos discuss him very well on the YouTube. I would like to use this opportunity to practice my English. I didn't practice English in my daily life because most students in Czech would not speak English well. And even in the online courses, we seldom use the complete academic English in this school. What will I discuss today are his achievement and the interesting fact. I will focus on some of his early life and the binomial nomenclature. People said that he was the father of taxonomy. He was a Swedish, he loved flowers and plants, so his father Niels gave him a small garden when he was a five years old child. Surprisingly, he didn't show his talent on the academic subjects in his childhood. When he was in middle school, he put more efforts on botany than other subjects. So his teacher considered him as a low potential student. One teacher, Johann Rosemann, guided him to study medicine at that time. Medicine included botany. Finally, he entered the University of Lund, but he only stayed there for one year and he transferred to the Uppsala University. He supposed the new university would be better than the old one. Just like my experience, I supposed I could receive better education in a foreign country, but the truth is the opposite. After he studied for a while in Uppsala University, he became the most knowledgeable man on botany because he truly loved to study botany. His profession on botany was better than a teacher in Uppsala University. So Olaf Rodbeck asked Linus to become the lecturer of botany in Uppsala and he was 23 years old at that time. Many present researchers might envy him because in present it is difficult for young scholars to become a teacher in the university. After this, he had an exploration in Lapland he began to use the binomial nomenclature in his study. The fact was that someone else already developed this kind of naming system around the 16th century. You didn't get it wrong. He was not the inventor of binomial nomenclature, but he established variety ways of classification. For example, he used the sexual organs of plants to identify different species, sexual organs like stamen and the pollens in the flowers. I would like to end the topic of his early life here. Let's focus on the binomial nomenclature. Binomial nomenclature, also called Latin name or scientific name, when you use the binomial nomenclature, you have to be careful on the writing. You need to use the italics form of word. Or when you are in handwriting, you have to underline it. This is the example of twin flower. Line Bodri Lis. The scientific name usually combined by two words and the language is Latin grammatic form. The origin of the terms can come from other languages such as English and Greek. 
Here is one interesting fact of Carl Linnaeus, which I found on the internet. According to the article Jesus and the Hitler Beaten in Wikipedia Influence List by Jacob Ara, Carl Linnaeus is the most influential man around the world. He is based on the Wikipedia link amount. Someone used a Google algorithm to calculate the Wikipedia pages. He found that every species pages can link back to the Linnaeus page. Right now, we already have more than 1 million species was named by human. If each species has its own page and with the 20 language pages, you will see if you time them together, you will find that Linus got the first place in the Wikipedia, which is more than Hitler and Jesus. There is another fun fact of him. Carl Linus was the first man to grow banana fruit successfully in Europe. And I found this comment in other Linus YouTube video, which is hilarious for me. John Rolfson said, So Linus thought that Mother Eve had gone for a banana. It seems as a sideline to have prefigured Freud's work on the human psyche. Well, I'm going to end in here. After I search for Linnaeus stories, I found I can introduce all of his anecdotes in this video. Maybe I will film another video about him in the future. And if you like my video, please subs subscribe my channel. Thanks for your help.